What can we learn from sumo that we can apply to Wing Chun? Well, we learn about leverage, we learn about base, we learn about posture, positioning, throwing, manipulation of, uh, of posture and position and body control. You're also resisting at 100% with pushes, pulls, and slaps, which are similar to like a punch. So it's, it's just a slightly different intention. So it comes in very handy because every time the sumo, two sumo wrestlers collide, it creates the clash. And in Wing Chun, when you go in, there's a clash. You have to know how to be able to deal with that clash. Because if you only start with your Wing Chun training at Chisa range, and you, you start here, how are you dealing with the clash? You know, you need to be able to deal with somebody's full force and effort and energy coming in at you. So with, with sumo, it's a really fun game. It's a real easy game. It's a simple game. So if we say, for, for example, let's do like a, like a, just a quick round of sumo here. So oh, we try to pull the So sumo, it looks kind of like a schoolyard fight. You know, like a couple of teenagers, maybe after school at three o'clock or at recess time, whatever. You know, they have a little argument and they want to settle it. So it's, it looks like it looks like a lot of pushing, a lot of hugging, a lot of grappling, which is a good thing to learn how to deal with. So if you can control this three-dimensional space, you can apply your Wing Chun much better. When you get used to the clash of sumo, the the, the trapping in Wing Chun looks a little bit different when you when you're applying against something other than Wing Chun. If you apply it with just Wing Chun, it looks like this. So just do the roll. You got your basic ball and claw trap. Keep going. One more time, we'll go this angle. You have your basic bone and trap, okay? This is not too realistic. Look how much space is between the round and round, okay? When you do a bone and trap off of sumo, right? Again. So the whole idea of trapping and the whole concept of, tra of trapping changes depending on who you're applying it to. I think the problem is, the only application we have with Chi Sao and trapping is Wing Chun versus Wing Chun, which unfortunately is the problem because nobody's going to come at you like this, or nobody's going to come at you like this, and if they do, it's very easy to counter. <laughs> so this is why if you want to make your Wing Chun te techniques more functional and fix your application, do a little sumo. Do a couple rounds of sumo. Get used to dealing with the collision and the colliding and, and, and the balance and someone who's trying to throw you to the ground. That's what's going to improve, improve your Wing Chun more than just Chi Sao. Um, that's true. Anything for you, for me, Jordan? No, that's absolutely true. All right. Well, that's all for today. Thank you guys and like and subscribe.